All right, now to set the mood for this game, I'm gonna need you guys to close your eyes and envision this little scene I'm gonna create for you all. It's a late night and you're home alone. On this very occasion, your parents are currently not at the same residence. They're out in town getting things done. You being the mischievous kid, think to yourself, hey, I got the house to myself and also the tree house to myself. See, the problem to this story and what makes things kind of terrifying is that this game is called Night Freak. Yeah, it wasn't just you that knew you were home alone tonight. Someone wants to pay you a visit. This is my house, huh? This ain't the this Simpsons house? Morning, the police have found what appears to be a leg of a child between 11 to 14 years old and huh. an animal landfill in the northwest part of the city. Some organs such as eyes and tongue were discovered at the scene. Wait, what? Although it is not yet known if they belong to the same victim. Oh. It's in moments like these that we ask ourselves what kind of cruelty the human being is capable of. You don't want to know, bro. Spring Rabbit presents this is our game guys this is night freak there's my house i mean it should be nice and cozy look we got the we got the cabin shall we get to see out there I, I should be super happy about where i live you know yeah i got the woods to play in not on this night not knowing there's a murderer going around leaving people's eyeballs and tongues at scenes oh, what the f this game just popped out to me guys it looks public combo inspired and looks to be very very well done <laughs> what can i say that logo scared me anyway salisbury 2002 the alarm buzzing? Hold up, did we set that evening alarm? Is it summer break? What time is it? Yeah, it's, it's probably late, bro. Look outside, it's still dark. I forgot to say goodbye to mom and dad. Oh, dang. Jeff must be watching TV right now. I'm gonna miss my favorite cartoon. We're waking up, we got sent to bed, and we set that alarm. We're like, hey, bro, I need to watch my goods on the TV. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to Night Watch. This is a puppet combo inspired game, as said before, and it just jumped out to me. It looks really, really cool. This is who we are playing as. The child, aka you or myself, whoever we want to imagine this thing as. And look, we've just woken up from bed, and we got things that we want to do tonight aka watch our favorite show i got a feeling things are going to get kind of twisted though but man let's get going with this thing if you guys enjoy it, i think you know exactly what to do there's nothing interesting in the cabinet dude we gotta change that then we're gonna get some fun stuff in that thing you know let's check around this place oh look, look at the shelf. shelf this is my shelf there's some cool stuff here you betcha look at this stuff we got magazines toy airplanes yep you're doing well we're gonna boom box you see the boom box our objective that we're gonna get out of here right we're gonna watch our favorite show the wine coming in just outside my room. Once I took a little sip of daddy's drink when he wasn't looking, and I think it was spoiled. Nah, bro, that's just what alcohol tastes like, and it's, uh, yeah, not gonna lie, kind of trashy sometimes, though. Check this door. This is gonna be our parents' room, I guess. Our dad's office. Okay, we see this. Can we turn the computer on, though? This is dad's computer. I don't need to use it right now. You always need to use a computer, bud. Always. What's he working on? What is that? Detective stuff? Probably not. I'm, I'm just a kid. Look, let my imagination run wild, okay? Maybe it is detective things. I mean, that makes dad exciting, right? That's cool. What else we got on this floor? Anything? Oh, another door here. Are we on the upper floor? Is it one layer? If I went to this bedroom, Jeff would kill me. Jeff the killer? Man, I see this game already. Straight away, I see what it went for there. Did it achieve? I'd say so. I don't need to go in the bathroom right now. I mean, fair enough. We ain't going in our parents' room either. So, okay, we've got our priorities down. It's all about the show. It's not about, like, ransacking the house, like, going in people's rooms. Let's get it. I'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. There's our parents, though. I don't want to come back to a messy house. Do you really need to go? I don't want to be here alone. I have to attend Uncle Joe's funeral, and your aunt needs support at this difficult time. Okay, that's, uh, all facts. While we are away, your brother will take care of you. We are late, and I have to go. Bye-bye! Okay, silhouetted mom and dad who were leaving in the nighttime, talking about coming back at 2 p.m. Maybe they've been at work all day, you know, then they had to go down to the funeral for the next day, early morning, something like that. Not good. Okay, hold up. What's going on? Hey, Jeff, how you doing, man? Can we talk? Hey, Jeff, you good, man? Hey, Jeff! I don't have time for you right now, brat. I have to prepare things for the party. A party? Uh, can I go? The party will be here, idiot. When it starts, you better not leave your bedroom. I don't care at all. I'll throw a party, too. Oh, that's us talking. All right, we're talking smack. And where will that party be? Uh, it will be in the treehouse I built with my grandfather last year. Hasn't the city hall torn down that piece of crap yet? I don't care anyway. Good luck with your party. Jeff, why? Why? I love you, brother. But why do you treat me so bad? You know what? I've turned this crap off. I love watching TV. Yeah, I'm going to watch it up close, huh? How'd you like that, Jeff? Yeah, this is the good part. Jeff, you're missing out so much, and you can't even see it. I love this. House could do with some curtains. Okay, I mean, people are going to be looking through. Maybe that's why we became the target, you know? They saw, like, all the house, all on the insides, everything like that. We hungry, though? I'm not hungry. Okay, we're not hungry, though. Paper on the side, newspaper. Today marks six days since the disappearance of 13-year-old Nellie Evans, last seen outside of Pincrest Park. Witnesses reported seeing a black van repeatedly in the area. A local resident said, this is not a safe neighborhood to live in. I've seen many strange people wandering around at night. I don't want to raise my children in a place like this. When will the police take action? It is estimated that child disappearances in the region have risen sharply compared to three years ago, although we have not been able to confirm 
the exact percentage with the local police. A curfew has been imposed for children starting at 8 o'clock. If you have any information that can help with the case, please do not hesitate to call the local authorities. All right, and that's our paper. Uh, how do, how do I, how do I, okay, there we go. I almost burned down the house last time I tried to cook by myself. Hey, look, Jimmy, let's, let's try again, right? I mean, we learned our lessons, we're not gonna do that again, no, you know? All right, so we got Trashy Brother, don't even care. I mean, I hate this dude. I better start getting ready for my party. I can download some games on Dad's computer. Ooh, all right, so we're serious about the party. First of all, we check our house. Uh, what we got here, drawers? No, that's lame. Dad, you leave those hanging out on the side of the right you see that? Bottom drawer, come on, give me something. Man, <sighs> no snacks, are you serious, though? Come on, bro. A drawer with nothing inside. That's like, that's our low end stuff, bro. We got basement down here. There are the stairs to the basement. I don't need to go there now. Yeah, you don't want to meet the, uh, the demon down there. I get that, Jimmy. I do. I can't go out now. Okay, so that's the lay of the house. We know all of the rooms. So first thing we do then, we go and get some games on our computer. On dad's computer. Oh, we better delete those links afterwards. Dad will take us out if he finds out what we're doing here. He always said like, hey, Jimmy, don't you ever dare think of downloading anything on the computer. Last time you got me that Trojan horse and the work hated me. Let's just make sure we download the good games today, okay? Is that Windows XP? It's old school. That's all I know. Hey, we got free roam. We start. I can't go in documents, though. We can't. Okay, Dad, I think your computer still got the virus, though. Check out my computer. You have exceeded 256 megabytes memory limit. Close and access. What, what the freak, bro? This game is trashy, though. This computer already needs an update. So we got... Uh, we can search games. Let's go games. Let's uh, let's do it. Buy paid games online. World of Goblins. Can we play any of these? No? I'm searching games, though. Wait, 10,000 games in one. Now, my daddy taught me never to click a suspicious link, but this ain't suspicious. This seems fine, right? Wait, over 10,000 games in one directly on your video game? Absolutely free. You mean on my video game computer? All you need to do is press the download button and get all the games. Hey, man, like, I didn't know it was that easy. Though. So I'm gonna get this thing. Let's go. All these games, like, that's gonna be like, you go on the computer, son. You find the ways to save its money. You keep going ahead doing your thing. Pops just had to trust me. You had to trust me, and I, I would find the goods. You know, it's as simple as that. Here we go. Download nearly complete. Boom. Downloaded successfully. 10,000 games. Yo, dad is going to love me for this one. Uh, start the burn. Okay, hold up. Ah, oh, crap. Where the hell am I going to find a CD? Maybe in your dad's drawer, though? Okay. We do not find it in the dad's drawer, though. CD, CD. I mean, my dad, does he not have a CD in his room, though? Like, I'm thinking, like, maybe I have a desk full of them. Okay, so we better start looking around this place. Now, the, what's this cabinet here? This is the one we did not search. Let's, uh... Oh, what even is that? Holy crap, it looks like someone died in there, and then someone else died on top of that. CD, come on, man. It's locked. I bet that's... Bro, I bet that's where the CD is, you know? Wanna break into mom's room? Nope, parents' room, still off limits. We need that CD. I need to play my 10,000 games in one. Maybe it's time to investigate downstairs. Uh, we checked those drawers already. There was absolutely nothing there. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jimmy has moved. Should we talk to Jimmy now? What's he doing? He's standing way too close to that TV. Flashlight? Should we snitch it? Don't tell Jimmy. Jeff, do you have a CD I can borrow? I'm busy. Please, dude. Shut up. Don't bother me. These guys are going to be here soon. And I didn't manage to get the cups and the alcohol for the party. So I'm screwed. Find a way to get this stuff for me and maybe I'll give you my CDs. There must be some red cups left over from the barbecue dad threw last week. Okay. I'm doing these tasks, though. Like, Jeff, couldn't you figure this out, though? You know what I'm trying to say? He wants me to get some cups for... The freak, bro. Are they in the trash, though? Get digging. <laughs> Just reuse them, you know? Jeff ain't gonna know. You know what I'm trying to say? Jeff ain't gonna know. His friends will, and then he'll lose them all. That's what you get for treating me like crap, Jeff. Outside, maybe? Will the cups still be out there? Okay, they're not down there. How about in the basement? It's time we go deep down. Now I'm just saying, if your basement has an ambience like this, call the Ghostbusters. I think if they turned up, they'd even start calling the Ghost Ghostbusters, you know? The Ghostbusters squared. We need that flashlight, though, Jimmy. We can barely see anything. How do we get our, uh, how do we get our stuff, though? I am a tree. We're gonna pop that thing on. Let's go. Okay, we equip that thing. F. Yeah, there you go, Jimmy. Now you're thinking he even puts it in his little pocket. He knows. He knows what's going on down here. Uh, old newspaper. Hold on, what's this thing? Police have closed several forest parks in the state of Pennsylvania due to a significant increase in the rate of campers disappearing in the region. This unfortunate situation has led to adverse effects on numerous hotels and businesses in the small town of West Grove. As many campers used to frequent that area, the local police chief has not yet provided a comment on the ongoing case. Yeah, that's because dude doesn't know what's happening. It is stipulated that these disappearances may be linked to factors such as the increase in black bears in rural areas of the region, climatic conditions, lack of telephone signal, and even the increase in inexperienced campers. Okay, you blame everything but the man-willed and the knife out there. I see you guys. Safe? 
Dad bought this safe last year. He said he didn't trust the banks, but I think Mom didn't like it. Maybe there's some money left over, so I can buy drinks for Jeff. Okay, seven, eight, six, three. Dad, is that the code though, too? Uh, no. Okay, all right. We got money in there. Check these. Mom packed some old clothes for charity in these boxes. It has been here for a couple of years, so we never ended up handing those things over. I see you. Cabinet. Okay, that's locked up too. And Jimmy, it's not looking good, man. This treehouse pie thing, all for a CD. It doesn't look fire. Okay, warty are very dirty. Yep, your whole basement's kind of dirty, to be honest, man. It looks like a constant fire trap down here. Cabinet. What's that? Is that something in there, though? Nope, it's uh, literally an empty cabinet. All right. Oh, what's this? Small key. Hmm. Could that be for the drinks cabinet, though? Hey, Jeff, you ain't gonna kill me at this rate. It's locked. Okay, yeah, that's good. Let's actually inspect, or okay, just simply says small key. I'm gonna go on a whim and assume that uh, we found what we need to get Jeff the alcohol he needs. He can do the explaining to the parents when they get back and the drinks cabinet is just completely barren. It wasn't my doing, okay? Even though I already know Jeff's gonna blame me. I do want the treehouse pie to get kind of lit, but like, gotta keep it down, okay? The teddy bears and all the squishy animals that are coming, like, they, they aren't, they gotta keep it low, okay? They get a bit crazy. Pie animals literally so we want to go over to this thing and we want to try and use the key right uh, yep telling us about that didn't ask go ahead use it did it work bro it didn't work uh okay well that sucks this this wasn't for this then oh wait hold up was the not the bottom one on here this probably is what it's for right use it worked let's go okay yep look we've seen these trash jimmy why are you looking again you're just weird now it was in the bottom shelf we got we got a note Got a freaking note though, bro. I don't want this note. Let's let's at least use it. My dear, you forgot the combination to that dang safe again. The technician was able to open it because you didn't change the factory combination. He changed the combination to 93143. Get that in that mind, Jimmy. You can keep sleeping on the couch until you stop this stupid idea of saving our money. Yep, he didn't want the banks to have it. I mean, maybe he's onto something. Maybe there's corruption going on in this local bank. Maybe the person doing the murdering it's the bankers. Maybe they got everyone in link right now, you know? Jimmy's crazy with his theories, man. That's all I'm saying. Jimmy is thinking, he's thinking broad. So it was 93143. 93143. Where's, there's my money. Dad, what the freak, man? It looks like dad doesn't keep any money here. This appears to be an old credit card. He thought it fell out of his wallet and he got a new one. Who knows? Maybe it could be useful. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and take that. Definitely take the old credit card, bro. That was uh, definitely underwhelming. You know, that's when things get sad, right? Dad used this for the money. You get the prompt since empty. That's that's a burn, Jimmy. Oh, okay. We had the phone going. Hey, Jimmy, you want to get that, bro? You want to get that? Let me just take a look. Jimmy just stands there. Don't look at him. He's still busy panicking like, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I'm going to get drinks. No way. I'll get it. Don't worry. Young kid to the rescue. But where the, where the freak is this phone, though? Is it in here? Oh, I see it now. I see it on the cradle. Hello? 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 Hit it with him. Why not? Hello? Hello, Jimmy. Uh, who's that? It's Daddy. Can you pass the phone to your mom, please? J I, I thought you two went out together. Wait, what the f- Hold up, what? D did, did you get lost, Dad? The call must have dropped. Bro, that one, Daddy. You guarantee he wants to be. Hey, uh, Jeff? I think someone's gonna be doing the killing of you tonight. Also, give him this credit card, though. There you go, bro. Does he take it? He doesn't take it. Okay, what the heck am I supposed to do? We're trying to use the credit card somewhere in here, though, like on the computer or something? Like, I don't even know, man. Why do I have a credit card? It's so random. Why do we take that? We just look like a naughty brat right now, man. Oh, really? That's what we're doing. When in doubt, make your own key. This kid's been watching way too much Home Alone, man. He knows exactly what he's doing. There's your liquor. We got that bourbon. Okay, okay. He goes nice on the rocks, you know? Like, I've, I've heard him say that in the movie so many times, man. I used to think, like, why did people put rocks in their drinks? But it's actually referring to the ice. Like, that took me so long as a child to grasp that concept. I was like, why are people drinking it on the rocks? Like, what does that mean? That they go down to, like, the beach or something to drink them? What's going on? Rocks in the drink? Like, neither of it made sense. Okay, now I get it. Now that I'm a little bit older, give him the drink. You better be nice, Jeff. Nope. Nope. What? Are you, are you serious? Wait, what? So it looks like we have to actually get both parts of this before Jeff even acknowledges that we've done something for him. Is the credit card trick gonna work in the basement too, you know? Like, that's what I'm thinking now. Nah, no dice down here. Was there anything else we missed? Like, I'm thinking, was there something we just didn't quite look at? That says it's locked too. Can we do the same thing here? Let's give it a try. We actually can. Okay. Okay, these cabinets, they've got that bad lock. Barely locked at, at all. Like, do you even need a key though? Nah. Jimmy's gonna be happy. Well, Jeff's gonna be happy, and then we're gonna be happy. Keep calling the order brother Jimmy, bro. Okay, so we got that. All right, let's get back up. Are we bare feet, by the way? It's gonna be cold on those toes. Don't trip. Stumble your toe on those stairs. That would that would make me yeet. That would, I'd just scream like some kind of Tom and Jerry, man. Okay, let's give him the good news. The good news that we found it, and his buddies, they still aren't even here. Okay, what's going on? I've got the things I need for him. Uh, I found a way to get it. 
Um, yeah, I got them for you. Do we put them on the table or something? <clears throat> Maybe we do, okay. There you go, okay. I, dude, it took so long, my camera died. Mic drop, just like, boom, straight on the table. Yeah, what are you gonna say about that, huh? Let's talk to the table. I got all the stuff for Jeff's party. Maybe that's what I'll be when I grow up. The best party planner in the world. Hey man, look, we wanna be all kinds of things. Maybe that's what it is though. You're not such an idiot after all. Here's your dang CD, now leave me alone. We did all that work and that dude. It's disrespectful, Jeff. It's disrespectful. You need to learn some manners, man. Listen, when I grow up a bit, I'm gonna have to teach you all my thing. You keep talking to me like that? Like, when someone does something for you, you be grateful? Especially the lengths we went to. We started picking locks on his behalf, man. Dang, no appreciation at all. Anyway, let's go ahead and get some viruses. I mean, let's go ahead and get some games. Start that burn, though. Oh, we gotta pop that disc in. I'm getting too ahead of myself, man. Here we go. Bop. Yeah, 10,000 games. 10k games. 400 meg. Like, these games, they're like 40 kilobytes each. Then is that something like that? I don't really care. Look, guys, 10k games. I don't care. I burnt to the CD like no problem. Look at that. Eject the disc. There it is. 10,000 games, bro. This is gonna be the talk of the town. I'm gonna be the most popular kid. Jimmy the Games Burner, they're gonna call me. So we done that. Like, what's the plan now then, Jimmy? What do you want to do? We want to go downstairs, you know? Go to the treehouse or something like that? To get some goods. Let me just check my bedroom. Anything in here we need? Um, doesn't look like it. I'm thinking like... Do we have like a computer in our in our in our like uh, treehouse or something? That's kind of insane. If so, where's the house ambience too? It's just dropped. Oh, okay. Ah, right, bro, you got the funky beats. Ain't just imagine him dancing like that. He's already hitting the different things. Pa yeah, pie looks lit, bro. You're uh. <laughs> Dude's been watching too much Jackass, the Steve-O song, that one is. We got a letter through the door, I can't pick that thing up. Um, let's just chat to Jeff though, like, Hey Jeff, turn the music down whilst I talk, please. People are gonna be arriving any minute, so get the heck out of here. There's our cue, there's our cue. He doesn't even care where we go. You know, talk about murderers leaving, stuff like that. Like, what's so bad about us doing our thing? Though? Did you cut the music off? Hey Jeff, I'm just leaving, what's going on, bro? Oh, okay. This house is incredible. Listen to this, once we get upstairs, the soundproofing... This is how homes should be built, man. No leakage of sound at all. What do we do then? We go in our bedroom, we just sit on the bed? Like, what, what are we actually doing? Oh wait, we can check this. It was looking at the door and notice. What is this? Dear resident, an incident has been reported at your local zoo where a tiger has managed to escape from its confinement area. We strongly recommend that as a safety precaution, you keep the windows of your vehicles properly closed at all times. Make sure that all passengers and pets are also secured inside the vehicle. The wildlife control team is already searching for the tiger and taking all necessary measures to recapture it as soon as possible. We ask for your cooperation in spreading this information among your neighbors and loved ones to ensure everyone's safety. For updates on the situation, we recommend that you follow the official press releases from the municipality. Your sincerely, City Hall. The freak, bro. What the heck was? Is this? Hey, Jimmy. Are we thinking wise? Uh, I didn't hear the delivery man leave this package. I wonder what it is. Oh, it looks like a teddy bear. Mom bought this for me. The label says Andy Bear. We scoop Andy Bear. Mr. Andy's coming with us. Um, so we just learned about a tiger on the loose. And our instinct was to leave the house immediately after. Jimmy, you are not thinking straight, bud. You're definitely a young child. That's all I'm saying. Hey, my name's Jimmy. I'm gonna go wreak havoc to the neighbors. I'm gonna go egg these houses. <laughs> Can we just run, though? Okay, no. Invisible walls. Yeah, Jimmy, you are in a video game. Sorry about that one. Just breathe in and out. Take it easy. Your confinements of this world are limited. Don't worry about it. We can still have a lot of fun. This is the back garden. Um, what, what's this? Like, what is that? It looks like a Minecraft build, though. Can open this. It's locked. Okay, that's going to be the outdoor shed. So, we were speaking about our treehouse. This is our party. Well, Jeff goes ahead and has his. That's the, Okay, that's not good that it's only a one-way back-in system. So, uh, probably going to die. What are we doing out here? Is there going to be a break in the fence? You know, they said the uh, council wanted this treehouse thing destroyed. So, maybe we build this thing outside of our property. Oh, yep. I'm seeing it. Let's go. This is not good, Jimmy. I'm just saying this screams all common 80s slasher film vibes. And it ain't it, bro. Even down to the soundtrack. Young child taking a stroll in the woods on his own at midnight. Parents out of town. Brother is the only one in. And he's, of course, that snarky guy. But I got the eyes on the prize, man. I'm almost there. Has he got power, though? You burnt the games on the disc. But, like, but, but are you going to actually be able to do anything when you get there, though? Whoa. Uh, then maybe we should just go to bed, you know, bro? Uh, what's with this treehouse? Why does it sound so demonic? My treehouse sounded like that. Dude, I would never come here again. Glad I cleaned this place up this morning. I think I have everything I need for the night. There's not much use for the power, so the batteries must last tonight. 
we got the whole setup. Look, Andy Bear, we just sitting down. Are you doing, bro? You, I mean, you fit well on that thing. I'm just saying. Look, if it was me and we were staying here the night, this ladder, I am pulling this thing up into this place. No one's coming up here. That concept just, it creeps me out so much. We got an old laptop down here. This is an old laptop that my grandpa gave me. There is not much to do on it except math calculations and other boring stuff. Yeah, you think I'm playing that? What the f yeah. I can sleep on here when I get tired, but the doorway is gonna be open. But you gotta think about that, man. See the outside? Like, that looks like a poster. It could be a window. We're here for the video game, right? Pop that disc in. Let's play some games. What is that? PlayStation 1? But why? He put, bro, you put the disc in upside down. All right, let's fire these games up. Please don't be a bug thing. Trap falls? Rad roller? Uh, oh, what, what, what is this? What is this, huh? You said 10K games. Trap falls? Uh, look, we'll try it, guys. Is it gonna be good, though? You screwed up again, and now you're going to be grounded. No Halloween for you this year. Is, is that the game plot, though? You wake up in the middle of the night to strange noises. A crack has suddenly appeared in the wall. Is it in that scene? Okay, we fill that one. And this is where we begin. Yo, we're fast, though. You can't sleep now. I've saved some candy for you. Jump out the window and follow the trail. Are you, are you gonna follow the trail? He, that was, that's what you call gullible, guys. You hop that, oh, ow, my leg's gone. Bro, this dude jumps like crazy, look at this, look at the form. It's, it's hard to judge, he just kind of throws himself. Hit the hops on this thing, that's it, nice and precise. Are they fireworks down there? It looks kind of fiery though, hey, let's go, ah. So you can't even run into it. The simple act of running into a, a bear trap, not even trapping my feet up, and the game's like, no, you're dead, by the way. Between, between, ah, dude is twitchy, dude is, woo, wait, no way, no way. Holy crap, bro, this is actually kind of difficult. No match for me, though. Ah! Why? Why would you do that? The game is actually decent, but it's kind of big. My leg, my leg just keeps getting snapped up by those things every time. Not this run. Okay, literally a repeat of the last run. Jump about now. There you go. Bro, I, ca I can't even see on the other screen, and I'm just dead, like, instantly. Okay, we're getting this thing. Do we have to beat these, though? Like, is the objective to beat them completely, or uh, just play them, like, a little bit? Oh, yo, they... they woo! Starting to get trippy now behind stuff. We've seen all this. Look at that. Jump those two... Hang on, but I'm high up though. I'm, ah, gosh, my knee though. The freak, I heard something thump just now. Check out the window. I ain't, you think I'm going down there? You can skip that, bro. Maybe we should. Should we check out what's going on? That definitely sounded like that was in my world. Hello? Oh, this is where the game gets a bit weird, man. Wait, what the freak? What is this? I missed this? What is this place? They're saying there, bro. I shouldn't be doing this. All this stuff, there's like a wall over here. Look at this. An old circus poster? It must have been closed like 50 years ago. All kinds of posters. Look at this stuff, bro. Okay, we see all this. Um, I think I'm gonna go back in the treehouse, man. Why did we even come down here? What was I thinking? Hair noise come down? It's like nearly midnight, bro. My brother playing a prank on me. Jeff trying to, you know, look funny to all the people, though. I'm getting back to my games. Let's go. I'm definitely beating this level. Not that time, though, but we will. I want to land right in the corner here. It's difficult, though, man. It's difficult. The double jump. Ah, there you go. There you go. Ooh, that's it. That's how we do it. That's not how we do it. So we're just really out here. We got to beat these games and then we get freedom, right? Something like that. Some form of freedom. On the other side. That's it. There you go. I've mastered it. I've mastered it. You think that blends in? Are you serious, though? Okay, I think we've done it. Home free run. Oh, my. Are you serious? How many more of these, bro? This game is repetitive, okay? Negative review for me, at least. Enter. Okay, what the heck is this? Okay, now game is just taking a positive review rating, maybe. Going in the house. Um, creaky door. I see no. What the heck is this? This is a bit too real. What on earth? Okay, whose game did I burn from? Going up someone's stairs? Picture after picture, someone snapping. Is that like a child's bedroom? Looks real. We found a lot of candy in the creepy old house where no one lives apart from the local mass murderer. Yes! Why do you have to add the time when the streets are the most empty? Do you want me to go ahead and poop myself? What's that noise? Whoa, whoa, what the freak is this? Hold on, hold on. Check. Huh? It's the key to the shed in the backyard. I must have left it here this morning. I'd better leave it there before something notice is missing. Wait, what? Okay, we're gonna... So we click the key. Okay, we got the shed. Um, great. I go check the shed now? Like, I'm thinking we go down. You know, we've been warned. This is the time when the streets are the most emptiest. Um, I sure hope the same goes for the woods and the lack of killers at this hour. Maybe they all got their bedtime. You know, some warm hot cocoa. They're all tucked in. Hopefully that's the case because, uh, you see me and Jimmy, we want to survive this night. We want a lot to tell. We want to throw the best party ever. So far, this party has been at subpar. Three out of ten. I'm talking like 
no one is coming back to my parties again. I think Jeff has given up on the party. He must have gone to bed. Ah, that sucks, Jeff. By the way, also don't care. Bro seriously smack talked me into oblivion and he expects me to care about that. Yeah, it sucks for you, Jeff. Sucks for you, bud. Next time, maybe invite me to your parties, you know? Let's open the shed up. Let's see what's in here. Dad wouldn't like me messing with his tools. It's getting kind of cold out here as well. I better go back to the treehouse. We open, bro, you open the door. You open the door for someone to steal the goods and you just like dip on it without checking. Are you, why? I'm thinking dad might have the like machete, you know, cut down some of these trees and stuff. If someone comes to my neck, I could use that to my advantage. But Jimmy is just a mere child. He ain't thinking about that. It's just about playing that crappy little game. All right, back to it. Let's get that second game. What even is it? Brad Roller? Is this some kind of like roller skating thing? Is it like a car thing? A box is found on the side of the bed. Their new roller skates. It's skating time. It is. Okay, let's go. This could be fun. Oh, here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it just jump? Let's go. Let's go. This is all we do. Can't go forwards, can't go backwards. It's like literally you just press jump, bro. It's like Flappy Bird before Flappy Bird existed and we had a bro. Hang on, Rad Roller. That death might have been worth it. What was that? Can I check this again? Hey, I don't see anything. Andy, just, he's just looking at me, failing over and over again. I'm gonna ignore it. Just, we gotta ignore it. I don't know what that was. Just gotta play our game, right? Could've went down investigated, but why would I? You know? Why would I go down if I'm gonna die? I don't wanna die. This game's pretty wacky, though. Like, this is more whack than the first one. We even made this. What was our objective, you know? Repetitive game simulator, because that's what we got so far. Oh, we've left the city. See, look at this. And we're out with the trees. I see that. I kind of want to, like, fail, but I don't at the same time. I don't know if it's going to reset us to back to the very beginning every time we do this. Let's just do our best every time. See, just like that. Why does the game have uh, that kind of drone? Oh shoot, oh shoot. I'm just gonna skate past you, sir. You have become a professional roller skater. What about the car though, huh? What about the car? Looks like the game crashed. Jeff must have given me a scratch CD. That butthole. I hope we're starting the video game console. will resolve this. Let's give it a try. Come on, pick that thing up. Maybe the laser's dirty on it. What the freak was that? Nah, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Andy, but are you gonna do that again? Something seems to be in this toy's eyes. They put a freaking camera in there, bro. Oh my gosh, this dude's been snapping pictures of me. A, a camera? A mom and dad spying on me? Nah, dude, I don't think it's mom and dad. I think it's creep and creeper. Uh, the buns don't work. Maybe I can see the pictures on the old laptop. Yeah, sure. Again, I'm gonna just uh, reiterate my plan from the beginning, pulling the ladder up, but we ain't doing that. Plug it in, right? Does it come with a cable and everything? We just slot the whole camera in? Cable's just inside that thing too. Let's, uh, let's fire it up, bud. What pictures we got? Mostly gonna be the back of us, right? Let's take a look. This is an old camera. 1986 control system. Only 40 years old, man. Yo, 5%? Can you speed up, though? I ain't got all day. Actually, do. I'm a kid, but I, look, I don't want him to do this, okay? Looks like it would take a little while. So what do we do in the meantime? We've got that broken up video game system. Do we just wait? Check again, hold up, let me just see. 5%, maybe take a snooze, right? I can sleep here when I get tired. Do it now, waste some time, bro. Any more secrets about you, Andy Bear? Yeah, I'm throwing you away the moment I get back out of this place. What are we trying to do then in the meantime? These batteries power everything in here. Um, I mean, there's not much more we can do. We just kind of sit and chill, right? We just gotta wait. Oh, hang on, maybe reinsert the disc did work? Let's try this one, what was this? Uh, Andy Bear. It's an anagram of Andy Bear. Uh, hey, what's it? What is this? How did we download the one thing? That's linked to the Andy bear behind us. What are the chances of that? Same dude, 10k games? I want to shake his hand then. Bro. I was restarting my recording. Where did that come from? Was it this again? Yo, someone's out here. Someone's literally creeping around. The moment my back's to them, they're just like watching me. Um, what am I doing? This way. I don't want to play this game, dude. This game is cursed. A lonely boy finds a teddy bear. Oh, this is literally about me. This is going to be about me, guys. Okay, well, that ain't me. That ain't me. Is that like a... It's a little marionette thing. Look. Oh, okay. All right. He's happy. He's having fun. This is this is literally what the game is inspired by. Or maybe what the killer is going to be inspired by. Hey, look. There's the bear. It walks kind of goofy, though. Sorry, he's got his foot in, though. Hey. Friendly, though. Kid in the woods is like, hey, I'm gonna stamp my feet. You wanna look at me? No, he has a friend. Yeah, he does. You betcha. So one became two. Yeah, look, they're playing together. That bear just chilling right now. They communicate by kicking the feet. It's a strange language they've learned, but it works for both of them, okay? 
This is literally me, though. I, dude, I'd have nightmares for the rest of my life if I saw this thing. They had a lot of fun. Yeah, sure look like it, kicking their toes, you know, laughing. Oh, look, they're being pushed by one another. That's kind of fun. Hey, we love to see that. But Andy Bear they had a secret. What, is he going to be a killer or something, though? What's he doing? Oh, come with me. Come into the woods, he says. Look, let me show you my hideout. Here's where I come from. The Hi-Fi SP? Ah, uh, what is that? Um, wait, what the freak is that in the basket? They're just pushing something to one another. Bro, is that a head? Is that literally a decapitated victim, though? Hey, Andy Bear, what's the secret? What's he doing now? Oh, he's done. He's tired. What is that secret, bro? Andy Bear warned them when the boy's parents went out at night. What did he warn them? Did the boy listen? Because I don't think he did. Did that go loud? I am on edge, guys. He's back at home. Like, he's sneaking out. There's Andy Bear like, Hey, don't come out, bro. Don't come out, bro. He's gonna get back. Well, did Andy Bear come over to play? We can take that. The boy heard footsteps coming to the door. We see it was Andy Bear, though. Unless it was something behind him. That was rude, Andy Bear. No matter how loud the boy screamed. He kept being dragged away? Shoot. I think the video game broke. Oh, maybe something's happened for a- what? Five percent? Yep, that's broken. Five percent on this, though. Oh, it's going. It's going. It's chiming. Okay, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it just boosted through it. I hate it when things do that. It's like stuck so slow and then it just jumps through the whole thing. So we've got the camera. It's going to be showing the back of my head. You know, how's the hairstyle back there? How's it looking? What else has captured on this thing before? Was that something in there? Crap. What was that? Who did that? Oh my god. I think I peed my pants. I want to go home. I'm so scared. I don't want to stay here. Wait. Can I look at that again? I'm kind of curious though. That was literally a body on that laptop, man. That was a body. Hey, Andy Bay, you know what? Skip it, man. You stay in here. I'm coming back with the matches. Let's go. Oh! Whoa, did we fall down? Oh, shoot. Body and the ladder. Just lying in different directions. We fell down from high... Come on, you may have a sore head. We gotta go, bud. We gotta go, bud. Where's this tiger, though? You know, we had to scare about the tiger. Is it really a tiger? Is that just a distraction laid by the killer, you know? So that when we, if we get chased down by him and he gets away, we're like, oh, mom, there was a tiger. That would be a sick way of actually, uh, you know, manipulating a kid's mind. Lie on. I don't see anything. I hope Jimmy doesn't either. Jimmy, just keep one foot in front of the other, man. Let's get back. Maybe we should go in the shed, get some tools, get some weapons, you know, fend off. Somebody comes against me. Hold on. Let me just check this thing. Check. Ah, uh, we can go in, let's go! Got the saw, yep, take it. Jimmy, listen, think smart right now, bud. Think smart, just some tools. Yeah, just some weapons, that's what they could be seen as. You don't take... Jimmy, survival 101, lesson one. Take a weapon when things feel weird. So we go back to the house, empty-handed, mind you. Dude, it's not good, it's not good. So, okay, well, you know, Jeff, the lights were out for him. Let, let's go ahead and see what went down in the house. Was the party that bad, Jeff? You just fell asleep? Is that what's going on here? It's locked. Wait, what do you mean? Hold up. Someone locked me out? The freak. Hold up. Jeff, this is bullcrap. Jeff, you let me in? I'm your younger brother. Remember me. Oh, we got the side extra. Wait, wait. Basement door. There's no padlock holding the door. Maybe I, maybe I can use some of dad's tools to break it. Maybe this is going to be the dumbest thing we ever do getting back in that house. I got a feeling being outside of the house, this is our happy place right now. All right, here we go. Get those tools. This should be useful. That's all it takes. Dude, they literally cut wooden tree stuff. You know what I'm trying to say? Like the smaller branches. We use that to break a padlock. Man, where did your dad buy this padlock? What, McDonald's Happy Meal gift? Get off the streets. I'm kind of hoping to see my brother. I wouldn't mind getting bullied by him in this rape. Right now, that would be the best case. So this is the door we couldn't get access to before. That looks inviting for a killer. Basement door, get down. Close those doors behind you. Lock it up, bro. Lock it up. So we're back down here. How's it looking down here? Is it good? We've got the hiding space down there, though. We can use that if we need to. Don't feel like it at the moment. Hey, Jeff, what's going on in the house, man? What's going on, huh? What is happening? It feels so bad now. <sighs> Shouldn't be running, to be honest. Should be taking my steps lightly. Jeff, what's going on? It's empty? Did he go out to town? Did he hit the town afterwards? Let me just see that drink. Has it been drank? Hey, dude's still just invested in the idea of being a pie thrower, even when, uh, you know, things don't quite add up for him. Empty again, okay. Maybe Jeff's room. Maybe he's busy up there, though. Maybe we can find him. Hey, Jeff! Come on, man. What's going on? I thought it was meant to be fun. Instead, I'm just kind of freaked out. Come on, Jeff. It's empty. Oh! What the freak? No way! Bro, 
Oh, did I just die? Hold up, no, who was that? <laughs> he looked, oh, was he wearing like a lion face? Where am I? What is this place? My leg is trapped. It's not too tight, I think I can loosen it. We got those skinny ankles, this is where it pays off. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Quietly, kid, quietly. Oh, shoot, we got taken to the killer's house. Who's this? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, what's going on? Please, get me out of here. Who put you there? I don't know. It was some masked man. I remember playing in the playground. I think I drifted somewhat. There were other kids here with me, but he took them away. I was the last one left. I think they're going to kill me. You have to get me out of here. Uh, but how? Are you really trying to dig into a brain like that, Jimmy? They seem to have lost the key in the small door, and it might be here somewhere. Try to get out of here and find help. My mom must miss me. Yeah, yeah, always yeah. Oh, about your mom. You know what I'm trying to say? It's been a week since he disappeared, and we have nothing else to do. I think we'll never see our documents again. Living a lifetime like a monster, like someone inferior. People despise us. I've lived my whole life treated like an animal, on a stage serving only as a source of laughter and pity. I don't know how our life will be now. Our only way to live a normal life is over. The circus is over, so this must be one of the people from the circus. Mike said a man passed by and talked to him. It seems he has a job for us. We don't have anything else to lose anyway. Wednesday. Mike and the others brought a tied up guy here today. I'm afraid of those guys. Mike seems to not care about what we're doing. He's talking less now. I hardly recognize him. In fact, everyone seems to be going a little bit insane with time. I need to write everything down. I talked to Mike. I think it's time for us to get out of here. And came Saturday. Timothy mutilated his own face with a razor. He said there were things coming out of the wall. Mike has been missing for days and I'm starting to get worried. I mustn't forget. So these dudes, they were like circus acts at some point in time and now like this is what they're like now they just changed up got offered a job they took it hey i'm exploring this house man i think death might follow soon but what else can we really do right we got to get around it we've got cabinet can't open that thing okay a trash in that thing they literally just put the debris away in that one hey what was that hammer okay that's kind of fire though killer comes near us but straight on your dome at least concuss him for a little while that would be great all right let's uh let's see what we can do can we help this girl out though got a feeling the hammer won't quite do it what about the door that's, yeah, the locks have simply said, uh, try and break these bars down. Are they rusted, though? They're rusted enough? I'm sorry, girl, I can't help you. I'll be back. Jimmy, just be careful, bro. Syringe pit? It's like a syringe pit. What the freak, bro? Uh, hammer? I don't know. Try the cabinet with this thing? Nope, that ain't it. That ain't it. So we've got a hammer, and that's all we've got so far. That doesn't really allude to uh, much more that we can do. There was some wood planks on the, the wall. I mean, it does look kind of weak. You see the wall here? It looks like it's kind of uh, hollowed out a little bit. Yep. Break it down, man. Wood planks on a cr concrete wall? What are you thinking? How's I gonna repair that? You know? Get those things off. That hammer's- Oh, oh, I see you thinking now, Jimmy. Use that. You don't want to go swimming in the syringe pit. Jabbing those things in the butt cracks, whatever the house they do with them. I, I don't even want to theorize. Look, there's even a skull down there. Like a previous victim who escaped. So these guys, they're not the best at this. Like, people escaping quite often. You walk the plank, walk the plank. What's on this body, though? Key. Simply says, look, rusted key, let's get it. My question is, where's Jeff? You can't tell me Jeff is doing this. Like, Jeff is sick and twisted to this extent. Uh, we'll try this uh, on here. It did work. It did work. So let's see what's behind door number one. Oh, it's like a small cubbyhole crawl space. Now, I'm guessing the killer's not going to check down here very often. Unless maybe he does. This could be the perfect, like, hidden room away from home. Can we build this thing? Where do we emerge? Um, I don't like my odds here. Hey, sir, what's going on? Wait, there's someone there, though! Hey, uh... Hello? There's three people there! What's going on? I don't want to go home! Yeah, I bet you do. They ain't responding. Oh, Jimmy's starting to cry. Please! They were waiting for us to escape for their little snuff film. Yo, you know they're selling this on the dark web. It ain't good. Oh, who's that? Hey, who is that? Looks like mom, kind of. Sam. Oh. Yo. I want to say her face was messed up, but there was nothing left of that. There wasn't anything left of that. Dang, what a rough ending. What? Hey, come on, man. No, that's fine. Everyone live happily ever after. That's when you know someone takes inspiration from Puppet Combo, when everything still ends badly and that's your full game. Hey, that was cool, man. That, that felt good, like, all throughout. It was a bit slow paced towards the start, but at the same time, we were always given objectives on what we needed to do, where we needed to go, and then how that thing ended kind of cuts off abrupt. Just after that kid made one of the most horrifying discoveries of his life, and 
You know, like, you just leave, leave it up to your imagination what happens next. I think we know if those people are that sick and twisted. They were filming what appeared to be maybe Jimmy finding his own mom in that state, and they wanted to get that reaction on camera, bro. Yeah. If TikTok was around back then, those dudes would have gone viral for that. There we go, guys. That was Night Freak. A very fun, interesting little game. It's been a while since we've played a third-person style game like that, too. Puppet Combat, when's your next game coming out? I miss them. Let me know what you guys thought of this game, if you enjoyed this one or not. And also, if you do want to play this game for yourself, you can check the description down below. The games are always linked there. But for this one, that is going to be everything, and I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like, Korean? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, if you did enjoy, yeah, I, uh, I have little closing thoughts. That was about Barrack and a uh, pretty sick and twisted ending.